Hello everyone, people call me Smokey and I love it though. Reason is simple, I make this environment smoking hot. I think of engines in an earth state of mind. Behind the walls of these engines, life is defined. It's all about airborne particles and liquid particulates, oxides of nitrogen, sulfur and carbon. Yo, I'm Smokey in an earth state of mind. Cars, scooters and planes are my favorite. And love for you people is always great. Straight out from the hot dungeons of this nature, I'm able to raise the temperature by one degree. Yo, I'm Smokey in an earth state of mind. To put up a fight against ozone, I never thought I would see that train. Crazy, quiet and beautiful like a plane. When I was young, my enemy had a chain. I was kicked out and without any disdain. Now it's time. I'm gonna move your son. Yo, it's Smokey in an earth state of mind. But there's a deja vu that gives us the free light, quite a bite. I can't take that fatty researcher. I can't take that hydrogen anymore. Damn, this Smokey dream again. I'm sick of it. The smoky anthem is really troubling me a lot. People think of their favorite foods, adventurous places, and even new adventures like paragliding. But I think of the smoky and hydrogen all the time. Yes, I'm talking about hydrogen, the greatest weapon that we have in our armory. This hydrogen can not only defeat smoky, but also provide us the, with the clean future fuel. Yes, come on, I'll show you how this actually happens. This is the photoelectrochemical cell in which the water is getting split into hydrogen and oxygen in the presence of the solar light. Now, I will briefly explain by telling a tale of two friends. Those are photons and the cunning anode, who are very jealous of the strong chemical friendship bond that exists between the oxygen and hydrogen molecule of water. Now this very smart and cunning anode plans a conspiracy in which it utilizes the photons which are basically the carrier of electromagnetic energy from the sun. So when these photons falls at the surface of this anode, the electron hole pair formation takes place and then this anode, without wasting any time, surpasses all these electrons via super fast tunnel to this cathode. And then the holes which are left behind at the surface of this electrode participate in water oxidation reaction. And this hydrogen here has a strong and passionate love towards electrons, gets attracted to the cathode and the oxygen ion which does not at all like electrons, stay back at the anode and combines with holes to produce oxygen gas at the surface of this electrode. While the hydrogen ions which are formed gets collected at the cathode, attains all these electrons and form hydrogen molecule as a product at this electrode. Yeah. Now this basic principle solves as the mechanism for photoelectrochemical cells being used today. And now the actual question is that will these oxygen and hydrogen ion ever meet again? Will they form water again? And the answer to this question is yes, they will one day definitely meet when we will utilize the stored hydrogen as a carrier, as a fuel, as a clean fuel in vehicles. And when this hydrogen will be used as fuel, it will combine with the oxygen molecule from the air to form water as a product and produce huge amount of energy. And this hydrogen is the only solution that we have to kill and destroy the evil objectives of smoking. And now let's salute to the long lost friendship of this hydrogen and oxygen. At the end, I would like to say thank you. I am Anupama Thakur, the Factory Researcher, signing off.